That feeling when it's only two more days till you have till MAGFest, but you know you're not going to be there yet. There's some awkwardness. Hey guys. Today is February 17th, 2016, day 48 of my 365 vlog. And I'm coming to you guys just wanting to talk about some more MAGFest stuff because that's the theme and I only got two more days to contain all this hype. It's really frustrating. But one thing that I want to talk to you guys about is another aspect that I don't delve too much into but is also a part, uh, important part of the festival which is panels. Panels are very important to the festival because they allow the people who come to actually have a forum to discuss about the things that they like specifically as it relates to gaming. So there are many topics that deal with talking about gaming talking about designing games, character in games, how games affect you, um, just coming together as a whole community, talking about games, and ultimately how that affects you. And I think that's very interesting because it allows everyone to come together as a community and really express how they feel about the topic. Now with that said, having a multitude of topics to talk about at a convention, it can get a bit overwhelming when getting to the con. So one of the things that I would suggest before going, or if you're already there, like some people, Jealousy City, right here. But you can download this app called Guidebook and you can get the whole schedule for MAGFest and you can plan out exactly uh, some of the panels that you'd like to see at the festival while you're there. So you can, might, you can manage your time a little better. However, if you're just the person who's there who wants to just play games or just cosplay or just listen to music, that is also your choice to do too. This is just something else that you can do to better help your time there, even though it's such a short time, it's something that you can really, really delve into and get more of a feel of like community ideas and hear other people's um, ideas on the subject in relation to whatever topic it may be, designing games, people in games, how games affect you psychologically, where are games going in the next 30 years, etc. Panels like that. Also something to remember when you're going to panels is that not every panel is created equal. There will be panels that are greater than others and you'll be like, oh my god, this panel was so great. Why wasn't this one just as great? It's just some people may be starting out or they're having a tough time figuring out exactly what it is they're trying to convey to you or maybe they're just not the best panel giver or you just have the greatest experience so just go in with an open mind and know that you don't have to sit through the whole thing if you don't want to because there are many other things that you could also do at the time in addition to panels what you can also do with the time may maybe if you don't decide to go to a panel is also see some of the guest people that they're going to have at magfest so Last year, one of the people who I, I'm very, I regret this one moment in life because I eventually came to love this show and love everything about it. One of the guests they had last year was Rebecca Sugar, from the creator of Steven Universe, if you know her. And I was just like, oh, who's this lady? Whatever. I don't really care. So I sat down, listened to her for a couple of minutes. I was like, I have no idea who you are. I don't care what you have to say right now, basically. And then right after MAGFest, I just fell in love with Steven Universe and I regret that. So, that's just one thing that you can do while there. There are a lot of people you can get autographs from or just meet people you, you didn't know. But like this year, they're having Keiji Inafune, which is dope because he's probably going to talk about num Mighty Number no. 9 and I'm also a backer. So, I'm going to have to go see him and be like, where my game at? Where is that? I want it now. It's supposed to come out. Not coming out. Where is it? But, that's one other aspect that you can do in addition to the panels. So, as for that, we're gonna stop right there and we're gonna shift the whole topic onto a new topic of the day. And one of the things I've been doing for the past few days because I have lots of time on my hands is trying to study a game that I don't own yet because I wanna be the best at it. What game may you think that I was studying for? Well, it just came out on Tuesday and it's Street Fighter V. So one of the things I was thinking about today is reality versus expectations. So as I'm going through taking my time, I'm trying to study this character. Mind you, I don't have a PS4 or I don't have the game yet, but it'll be there at MAGFest. And my ass doesn't want to look like a noob while I'm trying to play this game. So I'm trying to study everything I can in like one day because, you know, I'm a genius and shit. But to the main point is, I think when you're trying to get good at something or you want to get good at something the first thing you need is patience 
If you don't have patience, you're going to have a really bad time because your expectation is to be good at whatever you want to be right now. And that's a problem I have. I, that's why I'm talking about this. Is that I want to be good at something that I have yet to practice, but in my mind, I am great at that shit. Now, the problem starts to set in once you're not actually good at the thing you thought you were at, just because how it's built up in your mind that you're already good because you've been watching a lot of videos on people who are good. Mind you, this game just came out, so no one's that great at it yet, but you're just seeing things and you're like, I can do it because I'm watching it. Forgetting the fact that you don't even have the game or you've actually done anything, your reality to the situation will not be as great as you're thinking it. Your reality won't be as great as your expectations are in your head. So, one of my messages for the day is to just be patient with your expectations so your reality doesn't get dumbed down so hard. But that's not to say you shouldn't be optimistic about a situation, but you should just reel it back a little bit from your fanciful thoughts because they might not be exactly what may happen in the end. Not saying that it's everything is the same for everyone, just one of those things to remember in the back of your head that if something doesn't turn out the way you thought it is, you should look back and wonder why didn't that happen? What didn't I do to make that possible? Yeah. So that's my little talk about you to you guys today and about myself a little bit. Just something that came across my mind and I thought I'd share with you guys. Maybe you'll think about it. I don't know if it pertains to your life. But yeah, basically moral of the story is just make sure you put your expectations within the realm of reality and you won't feel so bad about it when it actually happens or you'll even feel better than you would have ever expected based on the amount of work that you put in. So, that's my talk for you guys today. I am actually kind of on time. This is not going to upload the right day, but I did it at the right time, so I'm glad. But, yeah, so if you guys made it to the end of this video, you could also hit that like button and tell me what you guys thought about panels, autographs, seeing famous gamer people. Also, what do you think about expectations versus reality? And, yeah, just those things, if you like the video that is. Also, if this is your first time seeing my face, and it certainly won't be the last because I post videos every day, you can hit that subscribe button. It's between me and you. Also, question of the day, what has been an expectation or reality that you've had to face in terms of like, what is something you thought that, oh, I'm going to be amazing at, or it's going to go a certain way, and it actually didn't happen that way? And did you figure out the reasons why, or you didn't? Tell me in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. But anyways, guys, I'm Vandal. Keep it 365, and I will talk to you tomorrow with the final segment of the Road to Magfest. Last part, which will actually be very informative. The most important part, I think. Yeah. So, peace, guys. Bye.